Hello and welcome to one of our tech tip videos. I'm John Dow and I'm here to walk you through ANSYS Mechanical and how to apply a bolt pretensioning correctly. On my screen you're going to see two fully assembled bolts with washers and a nut. One set up correctly while the other is set up incorrectly. I'm going to check, take a look at the stress results over here and I'm going to exaggerate the deformation a little bit so we can see which uh, which one's done correctly and incorrectly. Let's take a section view of these stress results. And you'll notice the bolt on the left looks like what we would expect from a bolt that is having a clamp load of 10,000 pounds, while the bolt on the right does not. So I'm going to walk you through on how to avoid setting up a, uh, a, a bolt pretension incorrectly. And that's the bolt on the right. You're going to want to start in your, on the CAD side or any other type of CAD manipulation tool that you might have. On my end, I have ANSYS Space Claim. And the goal is to use your CAD manipulation tool to apply, oops, sorry, to apply a surface split. So you notice both of these bolts right now, it's a full shank with no surface split. I'm going to use a feature in Space Claim called Split. This allows me to select a surface and a reference of where I want to split that surface. I'm going to select the end of this washer because that's where the bolt will be applying the load when we torque it. Now when I look at both of these bolts, you'll notice the bolt on the left has a split surface that occupies the same area as our plates. So when we head over to ANSYS Mechanical and we want to apply our pretensioning, you're going to want to apply it to that area only, the area that we split. So take a look at the ball on the left. Take a look at the ball on the right one more time. We have the pretensioning set on the surface area that we we want the clamp load to be applied. I'm John Dow, and that has been an ANSYS Tech Tip video for you.